Welcome to another episode of By the Numbers. I'm Michelle Fleming. And I'm Renee Smith. And today we're talking about conservation of number. Oh no, another <laughs> teacher term. What well, are we doing? It's very easy concept. Okay. Um, and I don't have any jars here, but have you ever noticed if you have, picture it, a big fat jar uh -huh. and a real skinny jar. Okay. And you have sand maybe up to here on that fat jar. Right. And you take it and you pour it into the skinny jar. And it's going to go sky high, right? Uh -huh, right. And kids tend to think the one that goes higher has more, more sand in it. Even though they saw you pour the exact same amount of sand into that, right. that jar. And so that's what conservation of number is. It's, okay. it's almost like a visual understanding that numbers don't change just because we've changed the shape, shape of them. Shape of them. Okay. okay. So we're going to play a game called Match My Set. Okay. And oh, we're back to Starbucks. We're back Ooh, to Starbucks. I like that one. And it could be m and We're not going to worry about colors. We're not going to do any patterning. So okay. if you have kids who like to do that, you might want to do pennies and dimes or something. Okay. Oh, by the way, that's another thing you could do. If you have like five oranges and five grapefruits in a bowl, ask them, even though they counted five, ask them which one has more. They'll think grapefruits because they, they're bigger. Because they're bigger. Okay. Exactly. So that's another gotcha. uh, idea of if you know if kids have conservation of number or not. Okay. But So this could be anything. So we're not going to do anything with patterning. All right. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put some um, starbursts out here in a row. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to match my set. All right. Okay. And it doesn't have to match in color, just match in number. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to actually use that one I liked, and you, I like that one too. I am picking ones I like that okay. I might eat. That you think that, yeah, that's what that I might like. eat. Okay, <laughs> so we have the same amount. Okay, we do. Okay, so what if I do this? Guess what? They're still the same amount. But if I did that and ask kids who has more, they might think you because they're spread out further. Right, and that's what you want to find out with kids. And if they say, well, you do, then I'd have them recount them. Okay. Count how many starbursts I have. Four. Count one, how many. Two, three, or four. you could do subitizing, right? Right. One, two, three, four. And say, well, is four the same as four? And so just practicing that with kids, spreading it out, it's, it's a skill we don't think could, about. Could you also do this to change the shape? You sure could. And, and ask them which one has more now? Right. You could change the shape, you could spread them out. There's all different things you can do. Okay. If you want to, um, which they might be able to see through subitizing right. as well, you might want to, okay, we're going to do another one. Okay. Okay. Can I look? Yeah. Okay, I can watch. Yeah. I want you to match my set. Oh, she keeps picking those oranges. Okay. Match my set. Okay. And usually kids. Children will do this. They'll put them right underneath them. Uh huh. Okay. So then you can, like you said, I like the way you said that. You could even put them in different groupings, like this, and say, now who has more? Okay. I, and it, it's still the same. Right. But and again, I've seen this over and but over with kids do, do having to go and count them, or put them exactly the same or way. Or put them the same way. Mm -hmm. Okay. But again, just getting them to realize, just because we changed the shape of them, didn't change the amount. Right. I like so. that. So that's con that's conservation of number, a fancy name for some just a real easy concept though. But something that will be very helpful for children. Yes, and like I said, you can do it with objects, you can do it with the sand, you can do it with grapefruits and lemons, and just again getting them to see that the amount's not the amount hasn't changed. Right. Even you, though they're arranged differently or something. Or they're a different or size. Okay. So. So thank you for joining us in another episode of By the Numbers. You can find out more information about By the Numbers on MyKidsTurn.com.